Weeding his way through the trees with the Quelling Blade. Is he actually dodging all of this? No way. Madara, he comes out with the waveform. Now they've got Kaka, they've got the silence. Madara, a magician, he pops out of Paris. He's going for SD now. He's trying to actually get the extra kill. Thug, they've got the nukes coming in. Thug has another round of nukes in just a couple of seconds here. He's going to blink forward, but no, decides against it. Blinks backward and said, U9 is here with the Shadow Blade, but he's already been met with a silence from the Puck. A clean retreat from Ad Venom. It's, how little. it's still hard being a Puck. Yeah. Think how little they. Oh, there's the blink dagger. They managed to catch Kaka. That's usually important. He's the only counter to this Bat Rider at this point in time. The rest of Newbie will complete their TPs and attempt to contest this off lane tower push, but it's just not going to happen. They're going to throw a strike out of the Dream Coil, but Thug is still there thanks to his jar. And Sand King was at that critical, like, 1800 gold. He has no blink, he has no Shadow Blade. Maybe next time, scouting out some of these heroes. A deep entrance here. They're going to try and pop out underneath this tier 2 tower. The Dream Coil will catch the Ogre. They're going to be able to get onto him, it seems like. Madara will get his nuke out. That'll slow down things a little bit. He also has the Replicate, but Ogre is just too dumb and too tanky to notice all these spells. Another round. There it is. Thug will finally find that kill. But it's about a year. Skylar's going to come forward. There's the lasso. They caught KP. In position to go for an epicenter blink. Uh oh. Radiant. They just pop that one out with a scan. They know what's here. And they might just try and surprise KP. The smoke breaks. Thug. Thinking about it here. Skylar's going to come forward. There's the lasso. They caught KP. He thought he was going to be able to defend that tier 2 tower with the setup. Now they're actually going to be able to go for more. Maybe next time in the background goes for Kaka, but he gets blown up. But maybe that's just enough. Now the rest of Ad Finim are here. They're on top of SC. And SC needs to save. Kaka gets blown up in the back line. And I think SC, he doesn't have a whole lot of heals coming his way. That ultimate's going to wear off. He will manage to survive thanks in part to the armlet. Ooh, 9 managed to get the kill in the background of the Rubik. But Faith, he will be gobbled up. Darren's Morphling is just way too big at this time. Dominating streak. Oak. U9 comes in from the side, does see a couple of these heroes. So they're gonna go straight for the puck in the back line, and that's the perfect hero. They stop the initiator, they've already taken him out, and now Zara has to do this all solo pretty much. He's the big damage dealer. He tries to go for the Slark, but it's just not gonna be enough. They already here from the epicenter. KP on the side, playing the game, managed to get his jump, but they actually missed the Skylark entirely. They get a little bit more magic damage onto SD, but he's armlet toggling beautifully. Madara's gonna try and chase him down. He has an Ethereum blade up, he just needs vision. He backs away though, turns for the Slark instead. Gets him. Here comes the pounce in. Nice double stun from KP. And they try and fight this out. SD goes against the Morph Link. The nukes come in and they finish him off. Now the Ogre's going to be left over as well. He's dead on top of everything else. Newbie go from finding the advantage in the team fight to losing it immediately against Madara's Morph Link. From Newbie. And they see him. He pops the smoke. Yeah, but it's already popped. KP just going to try and blink forward. Goes in. But just, just annihilated. My god, the magic game is too much for him to even get off a burn strike. Roshan will easily fall, and now it's going to be Newbie on full retreat now. Dreamquell goes down, they need a stun search, and will have it. Base will also die, another track kill. It's just not a good feeling when you pick up the gem and lose it immediately. It's very demoralizing because yeah. that's another, what, nine minutes before? Especially the since their initiation is so important. That's why Skylar tries to go for Kaka. Can't quite get him. And now he's going to be caught by U9. He managed to get some, a couple of nukes down, but there goes the Shadow Dance as well as Kaka's nukes. Madara goes ahead and cleans up that support in the back lines, but his two cores are safe. At least for now, Bug actually plays his way. He gets immediately hit by the Dragon Tail of SD. And here comes KP. Epicenter over the top. Madara still fighting strong, though. Managed to get the Dragonite. Already a buyback coming out from the Slark. They need to be be able to keep this melee racks alive and Slark is the man to do it it seems like Madara is still feeling himself though he goes for KP he jumps forward it's gonna be caught though managed to jump back to his replicate just in time Spartan tries to go for the TP out he will not, Wait, not. five six seven Add Finim. The enemy is at the gates. Newbie need to find a way to be able to stop this initiation for a third time. But this time around, they're not relying on Skylark. Madara is just putting himself on the front line. He's going to be combo stunned here, but there is going to be some interception. BKB already used up. Warfling immediately goes to the back line. Just right clicks Kaka down. He's trying to protect himself against the nukes, but the right clan, the right click damage will easily do. Now KB comes in with the epicenter man to get a two man pro strike, but it just doesn't finish off these heroes. Madara comes back in, cleans up the slot and with the help of Thug, they will eliminate Newbie. This game too may just be over here. No buybacks coming out, and the series... The wave breaks. It's work as we're gonna see a 100%. Hey, there we go, Stadium. What's going on, guys? Yao walks into... That could be an early first blood. Heroes. With the Sticky Napalm, it's hard for him to turn around. Body blocked up. Madara steps one step ahead or forward. Thug's gonna be able to get a couple more right clicks, and they've got him dead right.
That's going to be your first blood. Okay, they have the black hole as well as the Malphys are very available. Malphys goes down. Madara's going to try and make his jump away. He's going to be stunned up a little bit more. Spartan's ready to go with his level 6 as well. In fact, they can actually turn this one around. They start getting some damage onto Zhao Wei. They're going to be able to bump him back here, looking for the way for him to finish him off. He's got it up now, but he's just a bit too far away. No, he actually does flip him. Skylark goes in deep, but they managed to set up a huge drink. Well, Skylark may go down, but the rest of LFY have dropped so damn low. Madara's going to be able to clean so much of this up. He's got him there, and he's going for a force. Super trying to get hit towards the back line behind the tier 1 tower. Just one more auto attack is all they need, and Thug's going to be able to get it. Killing screen for Thug. That's been him. Reading LFY's rotation. You don't have a good way to dispel the silence yeah. on, on their side. Maybe like a defensive swap, but that's not really what you want to be using your swap on, I think, in most of the team fights. And going to try and chase down the board fling here. Weaver's going to get some good damage on him. Spartan comes forward, though, and they're actually going to turn on and NT is taken out. He did not. A lot of it is going to rest on Yao getting his blink dagger, but he's still 700, 800 gold away on that. And what's oh, up? The relocate coming in. They forgot the drink well set up with the silence. Super. He goes for the spin, but it's a bit too late. DDC is actually coming in, but that Venom, they're actually happy with this fight. They will gladly take an extra kill, even as the relocate is coming back. They get a second kill and maybe a courier. Not maybe next time, but maybe Thug can get him almost. All to go. Looks like they are going to be headed down bottom. Sweep through the dire secret shop. And Puck's ready. Look at his position. He has an illusion route. He might try and pop the smoke. Man, just get a scan. Onto the Wisp. They know where Spartan's going to be coming in with that relocate, but can they actually stop the relocate? Starts going down. They're going to go for the pullback. The last ball there, but no, he that pull. No, he doesn't get him. They get a pull. Got a Morphling just because he's showing on the other side of the map does not mean he can't be right on top of you in a moment's notice. They've got Bat Rider and Puck both do long range initiation. Is we're going to be able to see here in the initiation on a super. Yeah, wait, but there's not much he can do without an epicenter. No counterplay there. They get the free pick off of the core that just something like this. They're going to be leading the charge with Madara. He's got that blink, uh, Blinkins as well as the Ghost Scepter. He jumps forward with the waveform. Still might be able to get out here. Might need Spartan to relocate. They're going to be able to throw that one down. The swap goes down. Oh, this time around, Spartan does manage to get him out in time and in full retreat now for LFY. Leading the charge here. Deep inside the enemy, the enemy base, seeing if he can get the quick pick off and he may just find it. Yao is sitting there. Go super. He's going to blink for Go to Yao. There's a pull him back. The big nuke come in with the Ethereal Blade. Complete on Madara. They're going to have to complete more CPs for LFY. And they may not be able to save too much of this tier 3's HP. Those new comes out, and that's going to be super forced back to the fountain. This gives Madara more time to click down this tier 3 tower. It's already gone at 22 minutes in. At Venom are this time successfully sieging the base. And LFY left with little response here. They don't want to buy back on Yao with just 10 seconds left, but they're going to give up a melee rack this early. It seems like that's the commitment they're making. Madara only gets a pittance of damage. Oh, they're actually going to swap back, but that was a miscommunication. Now he's actually going to go forward and sneak in Black Hole, though. They may have the damage with the Juggernaut on the side. They have the epicenter on all going to kill it. Madara, it goes for a but he can't get him. Marcus Smoke pops. Relocates ready to go, too. They're going to be able to grab Super. The first strike comes in a bit too late. Now it actually puts himself in danger. The Waveform comes out. They manage to get the new combination to bring down Yao as well. And all of a sudden, at Venom, go from... Behind. Betty Skylark is pushing those creeps into the range rack. That's they're the relocating into the mid lane as they take oh, down the rack. Yeah. They're just going straight to the full mid lane. They're going to be able to take down that tier 3. They're going to focus on the range racks, realizing that the rotations of LFY are coming in too quick. They have to commit for finding the Morphling inside the Roshan pit. I think they need to feign a movement. They need to have like one hero pushing out the lane. Well, it's going to be Advent making the first maneuver. They're going to be able to grab PDC. No swap to build break this lasso. Yao comes in trying to intercept, but once again, it just turns into an extra death given to Advent. Nation of spells that LFY are going to be able to cast to make this the best hole, but already they may just lose one of the heroes. Zhao Wei almost gets popped here. He's Looks like he's going to head over to the bottom lane. He's going to chip away at that tier 3 tower. Immediately try and play the link. He already managed to take out Yao, but he do manage to get the stun. Hold on him, trying to finish him off, but they managed to relocate him out. Now a four-man dream coil, but they're lacking the more flick. DDC is going to be the shot here. Skylark getting, pulling him back, but Madara's actually ignoring DDC. He's going straight for the melee racks. Objective-based gaming is all about at Venom right now. He jumps over the waveform, does put himself in a bit of danger here. We're still waiting on that black hole. Zhao Wei patiently holding on to it, but he is losing objectives. Slowly but surely, it's going to be the melee rack that falls now. Another new comes out. Juggernaut brought low. They are trying to finish off Madara with that Aegis, but they just can't quite get him. He's going to wait for him over to the right-hand side and runs himself away. LFY, they know their win condition has to be break. Goes to five. They're going to heal. Uh... 
Madara full up here. Relocate him back to base. Skylark still in position for... They usually come outside and get the jump before Adfinim actually set up. And that's why Super jumps forward. He's going straight for Skylark. The Ghost Scepter's there. He needs to be able to defuse the blade down one off, but he can't quite get any time. Skylark is going to be able to survive through most of it and find the Ghost down. The Cogs come out for maybe next time, but it is LFY just cleaning up. They made it to find Zog on the left-hand side, but they're losing their base at the same time. Madara, he just focused on one another melee rack. And then he for the black hole, but Madara, he's still staying strong through all of this. He still has the BKB as well as the agent. He pops the BKB, he turns against DDC. Hoping to be able to man through all of this damage that's coming out three more seconds until Waveform is up. Spartan does not have a relocate, but he does have his tether ready to go. He's gonna bump into DDC, take it out that support in the back lines. LFY, they just don't have the damage. They managed to take out another, but it's still Madara at half HP. Manning up against the foreman. Here comes an epicenter. Yao, they managed to finish up the win. They're slowing down a little bit, push forward. Madara actually stays ahead of that burrow strike, and he's trying to man up against this guy, but he just needs to have too much HP. Madara the monster! My god! Triple kill against five of LFY, and he still has an Ages and to the bitter end will fight, but Zhao Wei will not. He gets it up. Game one is Ad Venom's. All they had to do was sit back behind the more playing and let him do his thing. The threat of the counterplay was just too much for LFY to deal with, and eventually they just saw their base crumble without casting any spell.